Welcome back. In this important lesson, I'm going to demonstrate, but before I actually do the demonstration of the difference between slice and frame tool, it's important to understand what these tools are because this is a fundamental tool in any design class or lecture that you'll see or hear. So in Figma, we're going to take a look at what a slice tool is, a frame tool. So first, just the concept of what a slice does. So as the name suggests, it slices something, right? What does it slice? It slices the actual frame on your canvas or the images on your canvas or the area to be more specific, right? So it allows you to specify a specific region of the screen to export. So you can export into PNG format or JPEG format and so on. And it also allows you, again, a specific region to export even if they're not organized into a single group. So you could have, let's say, three different elements on the canvas or three different frames on the canvas. You could slice them and then export them. We can simply just drag and drop or drag a slice around the region you want to export and add an export setting to the object. Slices also let you control the padding. Otherwise, the padding is computed from the overall shape bounds. So it's a powerful tool that you can actually use. Next, let's take a look at what a frame tool is. So essentially, frames are similar to slices, but frames typically contain and clip the child layers. They also can contain a background, they can have effects, various objects, and so on. We can simply add a frame to your canvas. So for instance, if you're designing an app and you like to create a frame for this particular app, you could do so. You can customize the frames. If you choose to use pre-existing frames, such as iPhone 10, Galaxy S8, desktop, iPad mini, and so on, you could simply select those as well. And that'll give you a predefined or predetermined frame for the app that you're designing for a specific platform or the phone. Let's take a look at a demo of what slice and frames are, right? So let me jump right in, give you some hands-on application of how the frame tool works and how do we work with slice as well. So let me navigate to my Figma desktop. Great, once I'm in the desktop version of Figma, I'm gonna go ahead and simply click on the plus sign to create a new file, right? Because this is the previous file that we've been working with. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the plus sign here. This is going to actually create a new file and provide me with a blank canvas so that I can begin my work from scratch. So once again, I'm gonna demonstrate the frame tool and give you some idea of the slice tool as well. There we go. Once I have a blank file created, I'm gonna go navigate to my menu here, click on the region tools and select the frame tool. The keyboard shortcut is of course using the F key for the frame tool and S key for the slice tool. So I'm gonna choose frame tool and then simply drag a frame on my canvas. Okay, pretty straightforward. As Soon as I drag a frame, notice on the right side, it gives me the frame dimensions. So the X, the Y's, the width and the heights and the angle as well. I can drag the frame anywhere on the screen on the canvas area. If I need to choose a predefined frame, for instance, I could do so. Let me show you that as well. So let's navigate to the frame tool. As soon as I click on the frame tools on the menu, notice on the right side it gives me the design tab. And from the design tab, I can pick and choose any device. So iPhone 10, 8 Plus, Galaxy 8, I can choose from tablets, desktop, watch. So I could design an app for an Apple Watch, which is 42 millimeter or 38 mm. Okay. So as designers, you can actually choose predefined frames as well. So I'm going to choose, for instance, phone. I'm going to select iPhone 10 because that's what I'm using. So I can simply click on this and it automatically inserts the frame for me. And notice the width and the heights are calculated automatically. So these are predefined, right? So I don't have to create from scratch. So now I have two frames. And once I have frames, I can simply add a background image to the frame. 
So select the frame, go back to my menu, click on the place image, brings up my explorer, I can simply choose any image I wish to insert. So for example, I'm going to choose this bookkeeping image, click open. And notice I can either drop this image on the customized frame or on the iPhone 10 screen size. So it depends on your own choice. So just click on where you want this frame dropped. And notice it snaps to the actual frame of iPhone 10. So let me go ahead and double click on the image because I need to drag the image within the frame itself. I can also work on other properties of this image such as exposure, contrast, saturation, tint, and so on. All right, so I'm going to get into this a little later, but right now I'm just talking about frames, right? So once, let's say you have the image on the frame itself, the image has a background, right? Notice the image itself is a little gray, whereas the background screen of your iPhone X canvas is white, okay? So once I select the frame itself, for instance, I can change the background to match the background of the image itself. In order to do so, notice I first have to select the actual frame, navigate to this eyedropper, right? This is the tool that the you want to use so that you can match objects together. So click on this tool and click on the gray area of the object and notice now my iPhone XX and the image backgrounds are the same. Okay, so you can play with it. So as a practice task, go ahead, create a frame and then insert an image and then of course colorize it so it matches the same size. Okay, all right. So this gives you an idea of what a frame is, right? Same thing with my customized frame. Let me go ahead and insert a quick object here as well. So here I'm going to choose, let's say, this object right here. And I'm going to do the same thing, just make it a little smaller. Perfect. So I have two objects and two frames, right? So this is all about frames. Next, let me show you what how Slice works. So go back to the same menu instead of frame tool choose the slice tool and notice on the right side it gives you the export option right so i can click on the plus sign next to export and i can export as png jpeg or svg files so this allows you to actually do the export the other way is i can simply select these or select the area that i want to export remember slice tool allows you to export objects right so as soon as I select both of these, I can scroll down, click on export, and this allows me to export two layers. So powerful tools, the slice tool and the frame tools. So I can export both of these layers as PNG, JPEG, or SVG. Perfect. So go ahead and practice using the frame tool and the slice, but more importantly, concentrate on the frame tool, right? Because that's something that we'll be working with quite a bit. So I hope this helps. Let's move to the next lesson.